Scholars in politics, leadership, and governance say that no democratically elected president will appoint an incompetence cabinet secretaries like Ruto did if he want to implement his manifesto. Many of you, the people I speak to, don't even know what is going on in your ministries or departments. You have very scant information. The moment I know more than you in your ministry, then you must begin to understand that something is very wrong. How do you run a ministry or that department or a parastatal if you have no information? That is the highest level of incompetence. They say that Ruto appointed individuals with zero know-how on the ministries they were appointed to lead, except a few. Others, like ODM Secretary General Edwin Sifuna, who is also Nairobi Senator, claims that President William Ruto deliberately nominated incompetent individuals to his cabinet so as to run the ministries indirectly, on our video today. We are going to focus on one of President William Ruto incompetence CS, none other, but Agriculture Minister Mithika Linturi and dig deep into his incompetence. <laughs> Fungua bag, nikakuta ni manua manua kapisa kwaata na tu 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 ni ni ata ina ina nuka manua kapisa na tu fatara isa tu mewe kwa kidogo tu ready na kunata sad mchanga mchanga ini me mchanga niko sad na manua na yuto fatara isa kidogo sana. Dio sasa nikashanga hiyo ni nini hata leo nikaenda hata nikaua nikasema wacha niende ni report kwenda huko kwa serial board akaniambia wamesikia watu wakisema lakini hawajaiona hata hata nashanga kama nitapanda nayo ama nitaminywa ingine that was 2500 plus transport ya kwetu hapa one thousand, two and four, na kubeba yu. I've sent a report to the manager city board. Wakaniambia ni mpige hata picha ya hiyo ugunia because they, she has not seen, lakini ya disikia watu wakisema. Nikapitia hata kwa police. Nimechukua hata ubi na nikawachia hata hiyo nini vucha hile nidia nilitumia na ayo. I've left the message there. Lakini nimekuta there are so many other people wale wamelete samples huko kwa police. More than 10. Of course, I would like to be compensated and again, which is most important, what are we going to do so that such a thing will never be seen again? Hii fataraisa nimenunua kari kama wiki mbili simepita pale National City Mbondi ya Meru na nikakuja nae nikayaka kwa sito yangu wapa na ingine nikapeleka kwa shamba sehemu za metongo huko. Sasa singe jua vile hiko, kwa sababu siku kuja nae nikapeleka nika nika kwa shamba hapo hapo. Sasa leo ndiyo wale wanapanda huko chini, wamefungua hii fataraisa hile nilipeleka pande hiyo, na wakaniambi hii fataraisa haiko sawa. Nika waulisa mumeo juwaja hiko sawa. Wakaniambi hii fataraisa wamefungua, wanaona ni kama hiko na mawe mawe. Nika wambia oyeke kwa maji, waona kama inadisovu, kama inayeyuka wakaangalia wamenielezea hii fertilizer wanapoweka kwa maji wanaona bado inabaki tu ikiwa mawe na haiyuki hii ni hasara kubwa sana kwa mkulima kwa sababu nilinunua mifuko sita nilikuwa nafikiri itanisaidia e, na nilikuwa tayari kupanda leo sasa mimi sitapanda sasa ni kama sitapanda hii season hii ni mifuko sita nilinunua ili ni cost 15000 na sasa sina pesa zingine za kununua fertilizer nyingine so ninaomba waziri wetu wa agriculture mbika rintuli Ajaribu kuangalia hii maneno kwa sababu tulikuwa sisi tunayona Rift Valley tulikuwa tunayona sehemu za Nakuru hatukua tunajua kama iko hapa Meru sasa pengine kama hajasikia complaint ya, ya fertilizer kama hii hapa Meru hii iko hapa sasa eh akuji aione kwa hivyo hii ni hasara kubwa sana kwa mkulima kama mkulima anaweza kununua fertilizer kama hii aende apeleke kwa shamba pengine kuna mtu anaweza kuchukua tu na aende aweke kwa shamba bila hata ku, kujua 
ni afadhali hata tuambiwa sasa hii fertilizer haitawezekana haita weze, haita ununua hata fertilizer hata kama ni 8000 kwa hiyo mfuko lakini nao huo na hakika umenunua fertilizer ile mzuri before we get into much details take one or two seconds and subscribe to our channel like this video and turn on notification you can also write a comment what do you think about rudo cabinet secretaries and especially agriculture cs mithika linturi thank you so much now guys let dive in Mithika Linturi Ministry of Agriculture has been on news headlines for a while now. Not because of good performance, but on bad record. The most recent scandal is on subsidy fertilizer. Since Kenya Kwanzaa announced to subsidize fertilizer, there have been complaints from the farmers. At the beginning, it was not enough. Kwa sisi wakulima wadogo, hatujafaidika tunanyanyaswa. Kama sasa hapo ukiingia utapata makateli ndio wanabeba marori kubwa kubwa wakienda, lakini sisi wale wakulima wadogo hatuna sauti. So swali yangu ni kwamba serikali muko upande gani wakati mnakuja kwa wananchi mnasema kwamba tusaidiane sasa hii hakuna kusaidiana kama kwa hiyo ofisi niniona tu ni makateli wale wakubwa kubwa sasa hizi marori sinaenda sinaenda mbolea inaletwa inagawiwa wa makateli sisi wakulima hatupati wanadanganya ati wanapewa wale viwete wale mavu ndio wanapata mbolea na si wale mavu wale mavu ni wa makateli serikali inaleta mbolea kama dawa ile yenye na meza watuletee mbolea Eh, kwa maana sisi tuko wengi wakulima hapa tunataka mulete dawa kwa wingi inakuja ni kama tone kwa bahari hata last year tulizunguka hapo wakulima wengi tu kupata mbolea ikiwa mimi mmoja wao hii ni wiki ya tatu inakuja siri hapa kila siku na the same same story unaambiwa kuwa mbolea ni kidogo mbolea itakuja si mtulete mbolea jameni sababu sisi tunateseka mimi nalipa transport kutoka penye natoka shilingi 500 mpaka hapa. Kufika mahali hapa hakuna mbolea. Wananiambia kuja kesho. Tumetembea mimi karatasi yangu ndio hii. Ndio hii imerarukia kwa barabara. Hakuna mbolea. Mvua inaninyeshea. Hata hata kichwa kitambulicho yamevutika. Hapa tuanzoia hao watu ndio wakulima Kenya Musima. Hatulimi ngano, hatulimi kahawa, tunalima mahindi na maharagwe. So tukipitiza mwezi wa tatu tafadhali serikali tunawaomba mtuharakishie kama hakuna tangaza mpaka kwa maredio ma TV tujue mbolea hakuna tuanguke tukiamuka kwa sababu ila mahindi hapa kabisa maisha itakuwa ngumu tuache kudanganyana watu waache kufanya siasa na mbolea wakulima wapewe mbolea tafadhali rais muache siasa ya kuambia watu kwa mikutano mbolea iko sirio na hakuna sisi hapa tunaumizwa sana. Tunaomba minister akuje hapa Tanzania. Hapa siri hapa Kitale. Aweze kutusaidia. Kwa sababu wakulima wadogo sisi tunaumia. Bora na kuja tela moja inakwisha. Makatele wanapeleka wanaenda kutuhusia tena kwa bekali. Sasa tunaenda kununua kwa makatele na siri wale sinaleta mbolea. Tafadhali minister kimbia hapa Kitale kabla hata hizi mlango ya siri tutachafunga. Kufikia wakati huu hatuja pata mbolea. Muindi huko anatuhusia shilingi 1000. Sasa tume tumainia kwa siri hapa ndio labda tunaweza pona na penye tunaweza ponea tena pia hakuna jamani serikali tutaenda wapi Later it alleged that the fertilizer which was meant to benefit farmers it became cash cow for the cartels It was said that the fertilizer is sold to rich people who later sold to the poor farmers at higher price This year farmers across the country are complaining that they received fake fertilizer Others say instead of receiving fertilizer they received organic manure. Others are saying they are not able to get even a single bag of that fake fertilizer. Now what is the problem with agriculture ministry? Azimio leaders wants Linturi and Miano sacked. Kenya farmers have been put between a rock and a hard place following allegations of bogus fertilizer distributed across the country, and the Azimio la Umoja One Kenya coalition has demanded the dismissal of two cabinet secretaries, Mithika Linturi, Agriculture and Livestock, and Rebecca Miano, Trade and Industrialization. Last week, the coalition accused the CSS of perpetuating economic sabotage by allowing repeated instances of fake fertilizer and seed scandals. In a tough statement, National Assembly Minority Leader Opio Wandai also demanded the resignation of top officials at the Kenya Bureau of Standards (KEBS) and the National Cereals and Produce Board (NCPB) to pave the way for investigations. The minister has said there's no fake fertilizer. I I I I think maybe then we need to ask whether 
the minister is alive to the very responsibility he has been assigned by government mm -hmm. because na, 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 nobody short of the president himself who has admitted that a mistake as they say mm -hmm. has been uh, seen and it uh, an, an act of corruption because it is purely an act of corruption mm -hmm. when you end up with kenyans getting fake fertilizers uh, this country cannot uh, be worse than that mm -hmm. and therefore it is a very big question and i have always questioned because i i, I like to be independent minded whether some of the cabinet ministers are alive to the very responsibilities that has been assigned to them because you cannot say one thing today mm. and the president is saying another tomorrow mm. there must be a qu some questions asked whether is it that the president as he alluded to it last year that he understands some ministries <laughs> better than the people who are allocated to those ministries mm. and i think for me in this case there is no way your boss is saying look we admit there's a problem here and you working on what is called delegated authority you are telling us otherwise this can only mm -hmm. mean you are either uh, applying escapism mm -hmm. Or number two, mm -hmm. you are aware of the underhand tactics within the ministry mm -hmm. that you do not wish to bring to the grey light of the public. Mm -hmm. That that can only be the the very question. And therefore, I think, based on that issue of fertilizer, mm -hmm. it is an it is it is an issue uh, enough to actually have the head role in that ministry because we cannot and you trust me how can we expect the very people who are charged with the responsibility of distributing the so-called fertilizer to mm. be also the people who are hands-on mm. in terms of that investigation mm. it is not practically possible how do you send a, a leopard to go and look for look a ship, ship that is lost, <laughs> uh, you you are definitely assured that that ship will not be found. And After another, ranging from availability to pricing to quality of farm inputs, particularly seeds and fertilizers, said Wandai, who alleged that the apparent economic sabotage was planned, coordinated, and enabled by people in government through acts of commission or omission. This government has failed to supply fertilizers to farmers. In some places, the fertilizer is not there at all, while in others, farmers are being provided with plant poison for fertilizers, he added. During a sitting of the National Assembly Agriculture and Livestock Committee on Wednesday, KEBS Managing Director Esther Ngari revealed that a fertilizer by the name GPC Plus Organics, packaged in 25 kilo bags and which was being distributed to NCPB outlets by a company known as SBL Innovate Manufacturers Limited, was substandard and had not been certified by KEBS. Ms. Ngari submitted that after testing 59 sample bags sourced from various NCPB outlets, they had arrived at the conclusion that the fertilizer was not of the organic nature the company had been certified to supply. The bags were obtained from NCPB outlets in El Burgon, 68, Kipkarin Saliet, 31, and Ziwa, 45, among others. The fertilizer had high levels of pH, is dolomite in nature, as it is composed of calcium, magnesium, and carbonate, whose purpose is to only act as a soil conditioner. Yet the required fertilizer in the Kenyan soil is organic fertilizer that is required to add nutrients and sustain growth, said Ngari. She averred, the product being distributed is not certified by KEBS. The product that KEBS initially certified is different from what has been seized and condemned as substandard and thus not suitable for sale, Ngari told the National Assembly's Agriculture Committee. In a public notice, KEBS singled out one fertilizer brand as substandard, even as the institution urged the public to report instances of suspected substandard product. If you happen to come across a product that does not meet the required standards, notify us immediately. Your attentiveness is crucial in safeguarding the well-being of our agricultural community, said Kebs, even as it assured that the government's approved subsidized fertilizer met all safety and quality standards. I was reasoning to the 
NCPB guys being grilled yesterday at parliament mm. and I can bet you they still gave different numbers than what was being said mm. and the fact that there is being quoted quite a number of different numbers is where you must know that there is meet more than meet the eye behind this saga because we are not even sure whether do we say the entire fertilizer that has been imported in that span of time is actually good for consumption mm. of farmers mm. and that should beg the question today how many kenyans have the confidence to walk into ncpb and purchase that fertilizer in the belief that it is the right commodity mm. that they are going to put in their chambers and for me i think we are coming from a, a place where for the last uh, like four years uh, we have not had good rains in the country mm. then we get into a place where nature conspires and god gives us rain mm. and then kenyans are working very hard to plant and they end up uh, getting half of what they would have yielded because somebody supplied some fake fertilizers you're not just sabotaging farmers you are sabotaging the economy with the equipments who are being brought in the country and who because when we say we want to give the nation subsidized fertilizer it is this is done through what you call a cabinet decision mm -hmm. and therefore that cabinet decision is communicated downward for implementation mm -hmm. And if there is a problem, and because here we are not saying if, we know there is a problem. And I have said, the only honest thing for the Minister of Agriculture to do is, is to take responsibility, step aside, allow investigations to be done because we, we are not, as I have said, we are not just talking about the yield going down. We are also questioning the quality. Yep. of the crop that we will produce are they hazardous to us if we eat them considering this is not what was supposed to be given to those crops mm -hmm. and therefore uh, regardless of how this uh, the government is going to take this issue my honest opinion is that mm -hmm. there has to be a political responsibility beginning with the minister of agriculture because if the president and he has you you saw him at ncpb he has accepted that there is a mess within ncpb before we can go for the people at the ncpb who are actually the actual people perpetrating it mm. on behalf of someone we must start with the top brass the minister the ps the director of agriculture and all those people i think they should be home and allow a clear investigation to take place. But Azimio is unconvinced that Kebs is not culpable in the scandal because the condemned fertilizer bore Kebs's seals of quality that have been in the market for a year. Kebs also clearly failed in its role of policing the market for quality of products. Our experience as a country has been that whenever scams follow scams, whenever impunity reigns in critical sectors with no action being taken, as is the case today, it means it is authorized from the top leadership of government, added Wandai. Recent seizure of 700 bags of fake fertilizers in Kakamega by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations and claimed that the NCPB has been supplying farmers with fake fertilizers since 2003. However, SBL has dismissed the accusations and threatened to sue the Kebs for what it terms as spreading falsehoods, accusing it of trying to create a reality which is not based on truth. In a press conference in Nairobi, SBL Chief Executive Officer Joe Kariuki said Kebs had certified them to supply GPC fertilizers on January. It was wrong for a government agency and more so the CEO Esther Ngari to give a false statement to Parliament and members of the public, he said. Kariuki questioned the timing of the accusations right before the planting season when his company is set to import an additional 6 million bags of fertilizer, and accused the Quality Assurance Agency of being dragged into a war to stop local natural-based non-chemical fertilizers. In the last two years, we have gained the trust and dedication and loyalty of 100,000 Kenya farmers across 30 counties farming thousands of acres. This is the future of environmentally safe farming. This is what the competition wants to be stopped, claimed the CEO. He added, 
We are shocked to hear that KEBS has not certified and approved GPC fertilizers, that GPC fertilizers are fake and lack the recommended nutrient level, and that GPC fertilizers are part of the government fertilizer subsidy program. The accusations are false and libelous. The Tigania West MP John Mutunga-led committee had been told that KEBS had already written to the Director of Public Prosecution, DPP, seeking the arrest and charge of SBL Innovate Manufacturers Limited Owners. The company, Parliament was told, had ignored the directive to only import organic fertilizer brand BLGPC Original and proceeded to improperly use the standardization mark by bringing in fake fertilizer. No fake fertilizer. In fact, the closest you've come is saying that um, a bit of it was soil conditioner. And actually, the government spokesperson has said that what came from GPC, SBL Innovate, was a soil conditioner. Do you agree with those sentiments? Uh, you see, Sam, there are two products out there. Yeah. And that's why I like discussing a product myself, mm. because the composition or, their, or, or what this man supposed to do is completely different. So the GPC story revolves around a product that was presented um, to, um, for certification, which was satisfied um, by standards of cap, caps mm -hmm. uh, as a soil conditioner. Mm -hmm. And that is what GPC was supposed to take into the market. But what we've come later to realize is that the product certified that time is not the product that is in the market. So the product... W when did you realize that? Uh, when this still came around. That's what I... By the way, on Tuesday, mm. when I appeared before the Senate committee, no, sorry, the National Assembly Right, is when I saw that back for the first time. Because I dismissed it, I could not even imagine that uh, it was even possible. But, you know, I have seen it very clearly that the fertilizer people are referring to is not the fertilizer that I'm distributing within the subsidy program. Mm -hmm. And I, even I, when I, we want to do and that's why I'm saying yeah. it, the burden on... It's not that easy to know who really brought into this system easily, because like today, remember, the, 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 the fertilizer that was being shown on social media flying out in videos was a product that was also distributed on board by the Kakamega County. Okay. Right? W was it? Let's move. Um, so you're making me like a monopolist of the fertilizer business. L let's move systematically. Of course, you are not a monopoly. You're the Minister of Agriculture, the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture. And you're saying that you had dismissed the story the first time it came in as a sense of accountability to the people of Kenya whom you are sworn in to serve is it fair for you to take a position without even testing uh, I will not take a position what I'm telling you because I am taking all the necessary uh, measures to ensure that our fertilizer within the program that we are running was properly insulated against interference and in terms of standard in terms of beating specs that were agreed between NSPB and the suppliers. And if you have also listen to me, because we, the end of the work, the, 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 the one those people was given all the way in December. I personally, on the 20th of December, did direct that test analysis be done and be supplied to NCPB before supply. Mm -hmm. So that if there was any question on quality, then we would still test what was in the market vis-a-vis -vis or against what the, 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 the test mm. uh, certificates on comp comp composition that was applied. And, and, that, and that is why I'm asking, supply. is it accountability, is it responsible for a cabinet secretary to take a position against what farmers have complained about what journalism has produced in this country without even uh, uh, getting the facts? If you want to check your record, I never seen at any one particular time that the allegations are not true. I never have consistently maintained that the fertilizer I am doing, including the one that uh, we are discussing on uh, the 102610, yep. 
is not fake. Mm -hmm. That is what I've insisted throughout. You have and is what I've insisted, the standards yeah. are the ones that fall short of the Kenyan standard. You have insisted, but you have also said that the story about fake fertilizers coming from Azimio, you have called journalists crooks. I did not <clears throat> tell you. I have insisted and I, and I said, you know, we have run a very successful program. And even last year I have seen when we went out giving fertilizer, there was opposition because farmers knew the only fertilizer you can give is DAP, which and uh, which we wanted to correct because of his ability to really identify ourselves. Mm. So when we have then when we have run such a, a nice program, we have been able to see its results, increase the production. When you look at the people that are really talking about fake, 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 and people do not really want us to discuss about the levels of standard. Right. Of course, from a political point of view, you would know that always those people that have never wished you well or this administration or the program or those that we have to go back to the farms uh, to really assist us produce enough food for this country dismissed us and mm. were busy demonstrating. And, and so that is the advice I cannot easily take right. because they are not the best people to advise us. And but whatever they say yeah. is what we will pick it and try to counter check. And, and that is why you and, find and now that even the cabin in my peers, yes. when there was this, this matter arose, when I was out, he really acted with a lot of spin to say, please hold on. And uh, we want to hold on because we want to confirm whether the argument out there yeah. is correct or not. That was a measure of diligence that and, the ministry was And your taking. principal secretary has found that indeed there are certain products by Kel Chemicals that are not meeting the standards. So the question I'm asking, now that you know what you know, do you think you are right to make the comments that you made that these were claims by your political detractors as well as crook journalists? I, the, 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 my position will not change when it Just comes think, to, to yeah, issues that. of saying that the fertilizer is not fake. I would want you to play a clip Please respond to my saying, saying so that you make where I said, you know, the, I said if there is an ir irresponsible journalist, uh -huh. I specifically said the what was ran on uh, i don't know what it is called african Something, censored african censored yep. it's not anything that i want to take seriously because i've never taken him to be responsible and that is with a, 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 and now uh, what have you found you know you know one you must look at character and i'm saying that this is not the first time yep. he has ran so, and so, even last so, time he ran another one was it a, which i'll be breaking the law to speak about the character of someone who is not here mm. so let's focus on the gpc product that was featured on african censored mm. versus what you as a minister of agriculture has found out about that fertilizer do you think that was crooked journalism or it was the right thing that you, you see even responsible journalism will require that before you do it get a clarification from the ministry to really to understand exactly what is happening. So when you run a story without hearing a sign, our sign is all condemning as an end. And you know, there is every reason for one also to say, no, this is not fair. So from what yesterday, because on Monday, is, yeah, on Monday I appeared before the committee, that is the first time I saw that back. So why would you comment so, about something And, you and it's yeah. because yeah. there is no single time when I inquired from my officers at NSPB that we were doing a fertilizer called GPC. It, has not, it is not on our, in any of so, our records. So let me ask you this. So when the information I got, and I even asked the contracts for the contracts that were signed, was on a, on a contract for a soil conditioner. A soil conditioner's contract, it was entered even before this administration came into office on the 31st of March 2022. So I was right to say there is no fake fertilizer it is not possible because in my mind and the records show that the engagement or the agreement between NSPD and the GPC guys is not on fertilizer. But when the bag was presented to me, I was really shocked because the, 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 the bag was labeled fertilizer. And it so, is not. 
and it is not. So, what is it? so it's a crook. <laughs> That's what I am saying. Who? The, ja- the journalist? The fellow who decided yeah. to cheat on the farmers' confidence in our system, in our infrastructure, and supply the wrong thing. And the cabinet secretary did not detect that with, see, with, your, with your system. Is there a system that does monitoring and evaluation of what is in the market? You see, uh, Sam, yeah. you see, unless a matter is brought to your attention, by who? And, you, and by any officer, anybody in the public. But you dismissed the story. Anybody. So, you know, you dismiss a statement depending, and I have sent, on how it's also brought. Because I've told you responsible journalism will require, if you have a story on me, please check the facts, try and also make me aware so that you can also hear my comments. So if I have some history about you, or about how you conduct your investigation and story, so how do you want me to take you seriously? The, I, I'm <coughs> telling you, yep. because you know I really respect the journalism. Right. And I've, I know the power of the media. Right. But I also say, you know that because you have the power of the media, you must also exercise that authority responsibly. Right. Because it is not fair. So, so tell me, is it your statement that it is not possible for the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture to assess what is being distributed in the market uh, for purposes of agriculture? You see, let me tell you, depending on the context that uh, uh, we must look at this matter in the context that we are discussing this story. Mm -hmm. When we got to know about it, we have gone out there and we have established that yes, there is a product. We've managed to do it. It is within us to be able to check when there is a report. But without any report, it's just like, you won't tell me the police can move to swift into action to rescue a somebody who is under siege without information. Okay. So when we got the information, we've done what we, we've been able to manage up to now. Mm. They have seen it, but but, but was it, it sounded doing. like uh, your peers and yourself were reading from different scripts because on the day that both of you spoke, the principal secretary wrote a letter saying that investi- <coughs> excuse me, investigations need to be carried out on the said fertilizer. Yourself, you are busy saying that there's no fake fertilizer in the country. Why isn't there a United or Union, what is it? A single source of communication through the ministry. You see, depending on what matter we want to address, you look at the agency. And uh, in those circumstances, and be able to respond accordingly depending on what uh, matter that you want to address. So if, like, for example, there was last week out of the country, and where I was, there was no network, you can't reach me. Any responsible officer within my ministry have I better take responsibility of somebody making a decision to stop distribution of a fertilizer so that it doesn't get to many people than none who waits for me to come and make a decision and then let many farmers get exposed. SBL Innovate Manufacturers Limited had been given the green light to import BLGPC original fertilizer but imported GPC plus organics fertilizer. Kebs further accused the company of displaying the quality mark on a product that had not undergone the mandatory certification process as stipulated by Standards Act and governed by the applicable standards. The committee, however, sought to know why the institution had taken its time before commencing investigations and carrying out tests into the fake fertilizer. Ngari explained that after SBL Innovate Manufacturers Limited was given a standardization mark to import fertilizer in January 2022, it denied Kebs access into their stores and those of NPCB. We had challenges getting the samples as they were only found in the NCPB stores in the country. What this company did is a contravention of the Standards Act and amounts to fraud, Ngari further stated. Chairman Mutunga, while emphasizing the culpability of the company, castigated it for potentially exposing Kenyans to health hazards. The committee will summon the Ministry of Agriculture and specifically the State Department for Crops and the NCPB as to explain how the fertilizer was given a clean bill of health and stocked in their stores. Embu woman, Rep Pamela Njoki, demanded to know how the farmers adversely affected after purchasing the fertilizer had been compensated. Soy MP David Kipligat regretted that some of the fertilizer may have already been used by farmers for planting and wondered how long it has been in circulation. Wandai said, 
Kebs also clearly failed in its role of policing the market for quality of products. Our experience as a country has been that whenever scams follow scams, whenever impunity reigns in critical sectors with no action being taken as is the case today, it means it is authorized from the top echelons of government. In the current situation, the entire government seems helpless, maybe deliberately so. All that the president has offered in recent days is that those behind the fake seeds and fertilizers will face the music they deserve and that they will be dealt with firmly, effectively, and conclusively. Just high-sounding words, empty talk on a matter of serious national security. He termed the alleged scam economic sabotage on a grand scale, highlighting the Kenya shillings 500 billion Kenya spends annually on food imports, owing to production deficits. Government's own data shows that our expenditure on food imports jumped by nearly Kenya shillings, Kenya shillings, 100 billion in the 12 months to September 2023. In that period, our traders spent Kenya shillings 338.96 billion to import food and beverages from abroad, compared with Kenya shillings 239.98 billion in a similar period in the prior year. In other words, our expenditure on food imports has grown under the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, despite all the talk and rhetoric about making Kenya food secure, stated Wandai. Our expenditure on fertilizer subsidy is money gone to waste if that same fertilizer is being hijacked by cartels, mixed with stones and all sorts of plant poison, and sold expensively to farmers while the government watches. Kenyans will recall that in November 2023, President Ruto approved a supplementary budget of Kenya shillings 8, 25 billion for the fertilizer subsidy. That is what is being neutralized now through fraud. But when all this was happening, where was CS Agriculture Mythica Linturi? And then we'll be able to... And how do they know that what they receive is the right quality? You see, <laughs> uh, Sam, yeah. and this is why I'm saying this thing is more scientific than anything else to understand this story about this fertilizer. Any product that comes out of the country, at the point of entry, there are those agencies that do testing for conformity of standards. Mm -hmm. So any fertilizer that comes, for example, because this is specific fertilizer we are talking about, it will be tested by CAPS. The Kenya Plant Health Inspectory Service at the port of Mombasa yep. will, also be te will, also to, uh, will also test to see whether what we are getting as a donation or support is not reactive material. So okay. all these things were done. I think what I'm asking Waziri is, so <coughs> if donation comes, yes. it is given to farms to blend. They blend the supply to the NCPB. The yes. NCPB sells to the farmers. Is there a way of NCPB knowing that what it's giving the farmers is of good quality? Of course, when uh, we've been given the product and it's supposed to be mixed with other uh, uh, with, the, uh, we, uh, with other raw materials for blending, of course we must be tested to see whether the... Uh, remember I'm saying the fertilizer is being blended for specific mm. uh, crops. Yeah, that, so when the blending is done, of course we must test. So does you, NCPB know what the quality of what is in they the stores? Do. No, you see when you store you become general. So I'm answering myself to that period of specific fertilizer, that material that was used to blend, that was used to blend. So it was tested, it was known. But the National Citizens and Produce Board will always get to know how many fertilizer bags that they have within their system. So because they, our e-voucher system, quantity, they not, know the not quanti quality. They know the quantity. Of course, they always know that the quality that they have is quality of good is is a product of good quality because before before production or a manufacturer produces is always uh, it is expected because it's certified by the standards well, it, body. Don't you see there's a weakness there? Because 3,000 farmers, according to your figures, 50,000 according to the deputy president, may have received fertilizer that is not as per what is indicated in the bag. Don't you see a weakness that NCPB is not playing a role? or maybe doesn't have a capacity to play a role, which now needs to happen. But the, <clears throat> probably, you know, this thing is also coming in... Uh, the, uh, we, 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 there are a few things we are learning from it. We may require to sit, see and how to develop regulations to make it tighter. Because just like you are saying, yes, we have established that because we could have crooks out there, 
that would take advantage of um, the standard mark they, they get after qualification and give us a, a banned product, then there is need for us to really have continuous testing. Okay. So this has awakened us, and uh, probably by use of our cafe stores, Carlo and the others, we will see how to see so that at least... Okay. But uh, then the, there's something else we must also do, is that these people that have done this, they must face the full force of the law. We must make sure that the, the, the most ash terms right uh, the, uh, the law is limited on them so that to deter people with this kind of habit. Where was Keb's CEO and organizations and government agencies that are concerned with agriculture? One thing is clear, is it that one? There is a deep-rooted cartel in the government which CS Agriculture is aware about and he is covering them or the CS has no knowledge on how to run a ministry. We have come to an end of this video. We remind you to subscribe to our channel, like this video and turn on notification. You can also write a comment for us. What do you think? How far will Kenya Kwanzaa take this country? Thank you so much. Let meet in our next video. Good luck.